welcome back happy new year this is january's first look video i have um three stamp sets including their dies um, that was released on january 15th and then i have the faith release that was on at the end of the month um, we are going to do monthly releases for our uh, faith line um, and i believe it's going to be one stamp per month opposed to three um, and I decided to combine this first look video since they were so close together um, in release or um, yeah pretty much because now I have a, a faith stamp line um, being released every month now I don't know if that's going to be in future um, videos but for today I went ahead and combined all the January stamp sets that were released on the 15th and then on the last day, the 31st of January. Um, so here we are. We have um, two big 4x6 stamp set, um, one super cute mini remix balloon, one for perfect for you planner folks, and then another cute little 3x4 um, sentiment perfect for... Uh, Valentine's Day and then of course the um, faith stamp set which is called in Christ I am so let me go through each one of them so you could get a better look at them um, let's start mini remix balloon so you get the Anya and then the Ian and then you get the string and the balloons which be to you love and then you get the I you star here's a big um, enjoy your day so um, and then you got a little heart as well just really had a very simple and plain project um, and that one is I created this little um, envelope slash tag that I will be giving to one of my friends um, her husband is away, he's deployed, and I kind of just felt since, you know, she will be spending the Valentine's Day alone, I wanted to maybe, like, give her a little gift card somewhere just to, um, you know, feel good. Um, unfortunately, like I said, her husband's deployed, so I wanted her to just enjoy the day since she wasn't able to enjoy, or she isn't able to enjoy it with her husband until he gets back. So I created this and I put the little Anya here because I just think she's so cute. Um, I know this is simple, but that's how I love to create. So for those who are very intimidating, because I get a lot of people, um, you know, mentioned to me how intimidated they are with some of the gorgeous samples that the DT creates because they are very elaborate and very just so gorgeous that um, I myself get intimidated creating my um, recreating those because there's just so much going on. I tend to go for more simple and to the point. Um, like I said, I am going to just put like a little gift card in there for her to enjoy her Valentine's Day minus her hubby. And um, yeah, so that is what I created. If you're wondering, I got this file from um, the Silhouette as always. I love the Silhouette store. So that's what I created using the um, mini remix balloon stamp set. And once again, um, you can purchase the dies. I cannot tell you what a time saver this is. And let me just tell you, I had already colored her in, but I never cut her out until I got the dies because I got the dies and it was easier to cut it that way. So that is lazy me talking, but it's not just lazy. It's when you're mass producing or you just have so much you need to cut. These dies really help you out. Um, they are very good quality and I do want to go over the dies really quick because I also have some questions about our dies and how to use them or how to cut them. You could either bend them back and forth just like that or if there's in a very small, um, like for instance, something's inside like a heart and it's hard to just go back and forth, go ahead and use like wire cutters. That's what I did and I got my wire cutters from um, Walmart and I believe I only paid like $4.95 or $3.95 and these are my wire cutters. Um, they're really cheap. I just got them at the jewelry section. So if you guys are in the market for one, 
that's where you can get it. And again, these are really, really easy to um, take apart if you guys are wondering or if, not, if you guys have not ever used a die set. Um, that's pretty much how you would take them apart. So um, if you have any questions regarding the dies, um, definitely leave them down in the comment section down below and I will try and answer you as soon as I can. So that is with um, the mini Remix balloon stamp set. And I'm going to let you look at it one more time and here's my project. The next stamp set I'm going to showcase will be uh, Hogs and I just think this is such a cute stamp set. Um, I'm obviously using mine for Valentine. Um, this is my Valentine's Day card for my husband. Um, and I did not, I had already made the project without the dies and I was dreading cutting these images because I've gotten so spoiled with these dies that I dread hand cutting them. So when I got these, I can make more little projects using this stamp set because I am embarrassed to say, yeah, I've gotten lazy. Anyhow, you get four little piglets. They're so cute. They're probably not piglets, but I think calling them piglets is really cute. Um, you get two female and then two male. I just adore this little bow tie and then the little hearts and then the word hogs. So a really cute, simple set. Dies you can purchase as well. Time saver, folks. Um, I definitely recommend to get them while you can. Um, they really, really do help me um, with, when, when I'm in a bind for time. So that is um, Hogs. And I created this super simple st uh, card using them. And I just basically um, placed them here, made a little hill. Um, really simple as you can see, but my husband is not really into fancy and I don't know what he does with the cards after. Um, I know he saves them, but then I don't know where he puts them. So simple is best when I make cards for men because I notice the men in my life don't really cherish these cards as much as you would like them to. So that's where I went as far as um, my card. I got this, I believe, from a Heidi Swap sticker sheet, and then I got the heart doilies from Hobby Lobby, and I don't remember. I think this is an Amy Tangerine paper. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I use creating hugs. All right. For the, lastly, for the regular um, release, we have um, this week, and this is a perfect... Um, planner stamp for you guys. Um, I this year ventured into doing bullet journaling and um, I have to say having stamps like this help because if you know anything about bullet journaling, journaling it is a blank notebook and you create it the way you want it to and that's one of the reasons why I decided to go for the bullet journal this year. Um, I kind of wanted to um, create outside my normal box of, um, since most of the stuff I create is usually for um, work, I tend to not do anything for me nowadays. So I try, I want to be a little bit more creative and I decided on bullet journaling and I think that these stamps and the stamp set the Greeting Farm has is perfect for bullet journaling. So you get the to-do to do, goals, do, and then you have the days of the week, Monday, to you know, Mon, twos, Wednes, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Cheer up, you get these little hearts. These are perfect to go on um, like as bullets where you could check them off or color them to say that you've done that um, task. You get a little word bubble or speech bubble, a little cute girl cheering you on. You have keep going, never give up, hooray. And these are perfect to put on the top of, let's say, your line of your day, whatever, just, um, or you can make a little box underneath it with, you know, to do on it. There's so many possibilities. And then I love this font. It's this week. So I love these so much. Again, there are coordinating dice you can buy as well. Um, let me just tell you, this is not just for planners. The design team had created 
um, a bunch of cards. I think only one of our design team members did um, a planner layout and the rest did um, cards using the stamp set. So please don't limit yourself. Um, this can be used for numerous things. Um, I, of course, used it for my planner because I am trying to figure out what is my style. Um, I'm going to show you that, but please bear in mind it is not the pretty. Okay, so this is my bullet journal. Um, I went ahead and put this little decal, start each day with a grateful heart, and this is the the bullet journal, The I can't even pronounce it, but this is the one that they sell from the creator of the bullet journal. Uh, okay, so this is what I created. I wanna use these cute stamps, these cute um, border stamps, and then I just colored it with my um, color pencils because I was really afraid that it would go through, but it hasn't. I've stamped, I've stamped it and it hasn't really gone through. Anyways, I've also used the stars. I've used the dates. I know that this one was really light. I had, uh, was using a lighter green, which I should have used a darker one, but that's beside the point. So I went ahead and did that, and then um, I used a little girl. I had initially stamped her on and then used colored pencils to color her, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I stamped her onto white plain sticker sheet, colored her in, and then stuck it right on here. And I love how it turned out. For those who are afraid of bleed through, maybe that's the way to go. S stamp your s stamp image on a sticker sheet, cut her out and color it, and then just stick it onto your page. So that's pretty much all I did as far as my bullet journal um, and using the planners. So I absolutely love this stamp set. Um, it is called In Christ I Am. It has to be one of my favorite ones because it is so versatile for me. Um, these are perfect images for Mother's Day cards, um, you know, my mom's birthday, um, sympathy cards, um, Easter. I just think it's so versatile. Um, and you could obviously use this for any uh, faith-based project you had in mind, but um, you can definitely use this for non-faith-based projects as well. Uh, and then with the sentiment, it is, In Christ I am, and then you have forgiven, redeemed, love, new, free, and alive. I just love this. Um, and I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Um, and definitely check out the blog. I will link it down below um, for the um, samples that the Faith DT created using this stamp set so you could get more ideas. Um, I went a little artsy with mine. Um, and I actually really loved how it turned out. Um, I went ahead and stamped this image of the flower and what I didn't want to do was color it and then um, if you can see it didn't go through okay but coloring it would have probably and I'm not really good with color pencil so I went ahead just like I said earlier I stamped my flowers on sticker sheet and then I cut colored them and then cut them out and then stuck them here um, prior to that, I went ahead and painted my page and look guys, it didn't even go through. Now, this was what I used, you know, what I, um, created before, but it didn't go through and I absolutely love these paints. They are acrylic paints that I got from Target and I will share them with you. Um, this is how they look. And I got this from Target, and they're really reasonable. This, these are only $1.99, and if you get the shimmer one or the glitter ones, they're probably like $2.49 or $2.99. But um, I got a bunch of them, and um, I got all pastel colors because I absolutely love pastels. And um, I just love the fact, again, folks, it didn't go through my page, and I am so happy with that. Target sells these, and they're a pretty reasonable price. Um, you could slowly collect them because they're, you know, again, they're not that expensive. And that's what I did with this page. Um, and yeah, and then I put washi tape and um, this epoxy 
cross from faith and yeah folks that's what I did using the in Christ I am stamp set so if you have any questions definitely leave a comment down below um, and remember I am giving away um, if you go to my Instagram page which is at Islander Girl Creations um, just leave me a comment in the in my Instagram letting me know what your favorite scripture is because I always am in the lookout and want to know why that's your favorite scripture so so thank you for stopping by I hope this has helped you get some ideas on how to use um, our stamp sets and um, definitely leave a comment down below once again and check out the blogs to see what our fabulous DT has created. Hashtag us on Instagram so we can see what you created and who knows you may be featured in our on our Instagram page or maybe even win something. We'll see. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>